Okay, welcome everybody to the Woodman Room, the Michael, below the Michael Gibson Gallery upstairs. And uh, this room was created in honor of Ross and Marion Woodman, and Ross Woodman is behind you, and a photo I got for Christmas a few years ago. So we've used this room for a lot of things, uh, packing, shipping, dinner parties, and tonight we've got a nice group of people here to speak or listen to uh, Susan and Jason pontificate on uh, their relationship. Yeah. <laughs> They're surprising. <laughs> surprising. Yeah. yeah. Surprised all of us. We were coming out. She likes them because <laughs> yeah, that's so, it. Yeah, big money. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, you have to get, you know, do wear it once, you what know. To wear, what to wear? What to wear? Yeah. <laughs> they have a nice collection out there, actually. Michael got me to. You, you introduced me. You introduced me to their collection um, right. about going there in the winter. It's wonderful, you know, on a cold, snowy day, and you go for coffee and look at the collection and stuff. It's wonderful. Yeah. Yeah, so you had a friend in from town. Yeah, yeah, we, we show him in the city, you know. Yeah. yeah. Uber up and bus back. Is that yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so uh, we were late. Like we were late. Like, we were late or anything. The money was gone right. after the Uber. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to suggest you could walk. Yeah. Walk well. Although Jason's a big walker. Yeah. Aren't you? I felt it this morning well, actually. Yeah. You're both big walkers. Yeah. You walk from home, which is yeah, yeah. a little bit. Quite a ways to the yeah. side of uh, yeah. Bad Lake, right? Yeah. No, that's no, my studio. Oh, I'm sorry, your home yeah. studio. Yeah. So being in London, I've known these two for a long time, not, uh, not on a personal level to begin with, of course. And then you, you understand, you begin to see that Susan's an artist and then Jason's an artist, different type of artist. And uh, when I was on King Street, actually, that's probably when they both came across my radar. And, and Susan, because <coughs> I had a lot, of, a lot more poverty back on King Street. And, and we used to work together a little bit there and have... We had, you know, shelves like a studio kind of uh, set up for all the different projects that we went with, and, and I remember having Susan there, and we bought some. My, I, Nancy and I own a couple at home, and, and then Jason, um, when he's around, he's hard to miss, as they say. So uh, Jason was sort of easy coming. You know, he was. You had a, a pretty good career in Vancouver, mm. right? Or you went to school there. And, yeah. And uh, Emily Carr. I found anyone that's gone to Emily Carr. Uh, for us, has been pretty pretty interesting artist to work with actually. Cool. Like a painter from Emily Carr is really to my mind for mm -hmm. me and quite often a street style. There's and, some good uh, instruction out there. Yeah. yeah, they have a different sort of angle. I think Coach Concordia and Guelph would be really two obvious schools for us. Yeah. And Western that's in town. Yeah. But um, but Jason and I we started working together maybe like ten years ago. Yeah. I'd co I'd come by your space years ago when you used to do the miniature show. Right. And uh, knew about your gallery on King Street. Yeah. yeah, yeah, we did that for 20 years. Yeah, yeah, I remember that. Yeah. <laughs> and then Jenny, who's not here, because uh, she's on the men uh, from something called COVID. Yeah. Um, what? She, she. Uh, <laughs> 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 what? C O V I D. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever that stands for. <laughs> uh, yeah, when she, I, when I hired her, it was here. Like I'd been here. I moved here in '97, and. I don't know when she started, in the early 2000s. Anyway, she said, you got to get rid of that show. It's too much work, and it's not, it's not worth it. <laughs> <laughs> so we did. And, uh, you know, but I was loyal to it in the sense that the idea for that show for us was to was to find new artists, to get you know, people like you guys or whoever to enter the show, and then you, you I would meet them because I wouldn't know them otherwise. So that was sort of the, the impetus for the show for, for us, or for me particularly, because I was trying to get into the art business on King Street a little more seriously. And then we moved here and, and you know took it very seriously and built the space that uh, that Patterson and Ewan said if you build it I'll show you the end and so that's what we did and uh, we figured it still it still holds up upstairs it's you know we haven't touched it we hired uh, 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 Nicholson to do the architecture and he did this <coughs> as well a little bit so it's been really a good relationship because what what do you what, when you have an architect work on something. It, it, it's quite often worth it uh, in the sense that you don't have to change anything <laughs> over the coming years. So Jason's been coming and going a bit from Brooklyn and sort of vagabond, stay here, stay there. Do you have a couch um, for a couple nights? Yeah, <laughs> stay at you know, Susan's. And uh, you know, made a room for him too. Yeah, yeah. And then I understand that Jason's staying at Susan's place. This was maybe a year or two ago. I, yeah. You said that to me. Yeah. And I'm like, well, that's curious. And then I'm so this is the curious part of this 
conversation, I think, for me, <laughs> is you know, your relationship and how it developed and and it's it's sustainable. And then when I, uh, the idea of showing you together it seemed obvious to me based on your relationship because you, you guys have sort of communicated and then become friends, you know, 10 years apart of each other mm -hmm. uh, and close friends and traveled to New York and back and done all these crazy things together that really a lot of people don't know about. So maybe, I don't know how who wants to start and how you sort of came across each other's paths on a more personal level. You can start. Um, <laughs> well, I... I'd, I'd heard of Susan's work mainly through her, through well, initially through Greg Curnow, um, and I knew you were friends with Greg, and and um, and then um, I'd heard about your mosaic, so the the 150th anniversary of Canada mosaic, and some of the East EOA, um, the Old East Village um, mosaics, and I went on walking, little walk, late night walks with friends, and and um, I saw came across some of your murals, and I want to track you down. And then I talked about you, I was telling the story the other night about on CBC, mm -hmm. um, on the local radio about you. And I think you heard or we messaged and I, I was trying to meet you and I didn't know what you look like. And, and, um, <laughs> and then I, I came across you at the Unity Project, the Up With Art um, book signing, catalog signing. And we hit it off oh, and we got into a really good conversation. Yeah. We were talking about family and friends and like yeah. upbringing and the punk music scene. And then, and then we kind of... We were going to collaborate, and it hasn't really happened. But, and I remember seeing, you know, talking to you just stories, and we. I think we. I don't know where it started. When it went from there, but like. Yeah, I think I think that I forgot about the up with art thing. Yeah. Because we had a really good conversation. There's, yeah. They have this book signing thing where all the artists come in. Yeah. Sign. Yeah. Hundred, two hundred books yeah. or something, and <coughs> it was Instagram in the pandemic. Yeah. Like you were back here. Oh yeah, we came back. And, for and you know, and, and you were walking at night and when I kept there was some conversation about it. I said, "Oh, you could dro drop by my studio at night," which is funny because oh, Jason right. yeah. kind of is alive at night. Yeah. And yeah. I, I I like I don't work at night. Like yeah. I just do not yeah. work at night at, you know, 6 or 5, 6, 7 I go home. So we're kind of on these different schedules, but we did then then Jason wanted to buy a piece of mine for his wedding wife Heather for her birthday yeah, oh, yes, and right. that's and kind of and, and for my brother for his wedding yeah, yeah. and so I picked yeah. him and his son Henry up we went to the oh, studio yeah, yeah. and it was this really cool kind of um, connection and I've said this to you too like it was like you know like you were like uh, you were in a different orbit than I was like we were doing different things and we you know like the surface of our lives looks different mm -hmm. in a way but then seeing how you were with Henry was like, oh, yeah, we're on the same page. Yeah. You know, like it was a really great yeah. connection that way. And then... Um, but you have two kids. So I have two the, kids. The, and it's like, it was, older, was so, there yeah, was, a, we yeah. realized there was a lot more commonality than difference. Yeah. And we were kind of, like for me, because I've been working on these things in the city and getting, um, you know, like doing things. And, and working with Clay is, you know, you're a bit ghettoized anyways, just because the, the medium. And I just didn't, I haven't promoted my work as well as you have. You're, you're like, this is like the, the emperor of promotion right here. <laughs> <laughs> like for sure, like it's, um, it's but it's natural. Like no, it's natural yeah, I, yeah. and it's genuine and it's like, it's yeah. really charming the way you do it. And so like your reaction to what I was doing where I'd be kind of thinking like, is anyone seeing what I'm doing? Like I'm, do like I'm working like seven days a week doing all these things and like super labor intensive work and you were like really into it and it was like it was such a relief yeah. like to have someone else well we started cr cross pollinating groups of like yeah. I would introduce you to people and you would introduce me to communities like and there's even people here that you know more than I know and I know more than you know yeah. different people so our circles started merging and and then even at the opening the other night mm -hmm. like there was groups you know that We've been yeah. in the same city for a long time, but we just didn't know each other. Yeah, we each, each pulled very we, different people just, in. Just when you think you know the whole community here in London, there's just so much more, you know, to always to give, you know. It's like, yeah. Yeah. But no, it was really, and then it kind of got to this, you know, Jason was coming, you'd, you were moving back. Yeah. And you needed a little help on the house. And my, oh, hus my husband's like super help, handy. Yeah, yeah. 
So he helped you a little he bit. Gravel in the drive, driveway. Yeah. yeah, he was putting gravel yeah. in the driveway and stuff. Mm -hmm. And he loves doing that. Like he loves. But I never met him before. He just showed yeah, up. Yeah, we, we were driving around in his truck, and or, um, if he she was, had telling, had her, she was telling me he... stories about him on the beach. Oh. And um, <laughs> um, anyway. Yeah. Some wild stories. And I was like, wow, you guys are, you love. I don't know <laughs> if I know those stories. <laughs> those stories. No, anyway, but yeah. yeah um, but it was but, like, it's like a mutual interest. And we kind oh, of like pique each other's interest. With I also knew you like. through Stammer magazine, through Steve McDonald. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And um, yeah. Uh, Susan's early drawings through the zine culture and like oversized zine culture. And so I went to Beale, which we both went to Beale. Um, Michael and we were talking about that earlier. Yeah. And, um, and, um, Mm -hmm. Yeah, and the basis was like even he had certain same instructors, you know, Bevan yeah. uh, Ling, and yeah. who was who, the other night, and yeah. Um, yeah um, but your line work is so incredible. Like just like it, I I feel like it really works. Like I didn't realize until some people were saying the other night, oh, the London Free Press person was like, how do you feel about the work together? And I just, I never really thought about it. I just but then it came together and it just looks. Really, it really worked. Like they really, really complement each yeah, other. Yeah. And yeah, the zine, that zine thing with Steve McDonald was a cool connection to realize that. Cause, yeah. Like I had written a couple stories in a couple different Stammer magazines. Yeah. And it's like super like niche little. Yeah. And that you you knew Steve and I knew Steve yeah. and Steve was from he, London. He, he lived out in Vancouver. Yeah, went and, to Vancouver yeah. and um, yeah, and and I think your real interest in Greg too, like in getting to know more and more about Greg Perno was. And Patterson Ewan too. Of yeah, course, like yeah. we lived. My husband and I lived above. Patter like there was a studio behind you need a cab on Dundas Street East and Patterson had the main floor and we lived above and um you even, know there was some even, stories even the little stories about him like in his obsession with Twinkies Twinkies yes he loved <laughs> which the yeah and and I know he used to go to the London Majors games and certain things and like just little little in the little the little stories like not the big yeah picture you know like like it felt really yeah. even I only at met Patterson, that point I only met Patterson once but you felt yeah. really, didn't you feel like that? Like just to be, it's special to be in his, like when he was yeah. really I mean, he's special. Yeah, sort of bigger than life. Cause he's totally. A very, he was a big man. Yeah. Thick yeah. and yeah. huge hands. And, yeah. uh, and for me, I met him <coughs> on King Street because he used to shop at the, used to be an art supply store beside us on oh, King, yeah. right on the corner there. Oh, the graphics. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So yeah. He'd buy things in there and then him and Mary would come in the gallery and walk yeah. around. And yeah. Then they asked me to help them out. Yeah. You know, Yeah, it's like you let in. Yeah. Yeah. But then, you know, he's one of the first people that you meet that is actually, you know, just normal. <laughs> you yeah. assume that whoever you meet, whoever your celebrities are, like they're actually like us. You know, they're just normal people. They yeah. have the same sort of issues. They're not same. the same, but similar mm -hmm. issues, and you know, they're you know everything's the same. So, yeah. uh, but they're they have this aura quite often that's just a little bit more than. Uh, than the rest of us, which makes them who they are. The two, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. So the, the two of you have something that other people don't have. And then, you know, mm -hmm. the main thing for that I appreciate is that is that when people use it, as opposed to, you know, not, you know, to go that direction because it's hard. It's hard to be an artist, I know that. Mm -hmm. It's yeah. hard to do what I do. But it's hard to do a lot of things, like most people sitting here, or whatever you guys do. It's not easy serving coffee all day or whatever's going on. Yeah. So, you know, but if you love it, it's not really work. And I don't think Jason has worked a day in his life, have you? Um, <laughs> I actually, I used to actually, I did commercial cleaning for a while. I used to clean the Amway factory, like uh, garbages and mop yeah, and stuff. And like, no, I did a few things. I used, I used to clean gum off the carpet at a theater on my hands and knees. Well, but yeah, it was psychedelic carpet. Yeah, it was way late yeah. at night next yeah. to, to extra money. But upstairs. yeah, but yeah. Um, but Jason did, but most of his show upstairs. We have it on the second floor. We yeah, a little bit, a little bit back and forth. Yeah, yeah, yeah but a lot so, of it up here. It's such a great you know, space. Yeah. My office, where I'm sitting these days, at the front of the gallery, is right by the staircase where you come down. Yeah. And go back up, and so yeah. I'm like dad, and he's the kid. <laughs> yeah. And I'm like, Aging knows? kid. Yeah. Is yeah. He doing anything yeah. up yeah. there? Like, where's he going now? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 It's like. So he's like, yeah, I'm doing this. Now I'm gonna go get some pop or this or that, and you're like. Yeah. Some yeah, <laughs> yeah, I get a little distracted. But so he, he, yeah, he's not so, as said. yeah, yeah. And, and, and I know Susan Susan's probably more like me, not so much. Yeah. No. Yeah. I but used we to cross paths, you know, around three o'clock in the afternoon. Yeah. Yeah. Sort of yeah. 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 
Yeah. But I think it's healthy. And you know, what you guys are talking about is how small the community is as a colonel and you and who are both, you know, sadly long gone. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, so there's tradition there. And, and, you know, we can't be them, but all we can do is, is try and emulate their work ethic in one way because I know both of them well enough to, <laughs> to know that they, they made art every day or they certainly yeah. made a good effort at making mm -hmm. art every day. Well, I was even, I was showing my friend um, Devin up at the university at Weldon um, some of Patterson's work and he never heard of him. And I was like, so I was sharing stories a little bit and like not like just a little bit of insight and like right. so he's still telling, bringing on these stories and keeping the people alive, you know, through their yeah. work. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. So do you, I mean, did either one of you, do you find it like, like calming to be in your studio and, and working and then and, and leaving that night or uh, you know, like having accomplished something or being frustrated by not being able to resolve it and wait till the next day or, I feel I mean, it, it must be a kind of a calming effect. It, yeah, it feels amazing. It's really yeah. lucky. You know, in a way. Yeah. It's, 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 really, it's really grounding. Like, yeah. you can throw all your problems out the window. Like, I, I watch a lot of comedy and stuff, too. Like, sometimes you, you a lot of comedy while I draw and stuff. And, like, um, but, like, just basically, like, it can just take you away. Like, you just start drawing and you, you like, block out the whole, like, everything. It's just, like, it's, like, meditative or, like, um, religious or something. Or, like, just take you away, like... Like Calgon or yeah, like, right. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but like uh, just like no, in the bathtub. Like yeah, it's, like, I, I feel yeah, like, like, with, it's, like yeah. and with the world right now, like uh, things are pretty fucked up. So, and and sometimes it's hard to just you know stand on the stand as a human on the earth right now or whatever with all the stuff and we're inundated with the news. And I find when I go to the studio, it's like I put the blinders on. Yeah, I put my headphones on. And I'm listening to a podcast or some music. Yeah. And the same thing, like it's like you're just free of it all, and you, and suddenly, you know, four or five, six hours have gone by. Yeah. And um, yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty lovely right now. And I think it's really, um, I think it's a really courageous act right now to be making making art, because it's, you know, it doesn't make any sense at all to make art right now. Yeah. <laughs> You know, so I think doing, I, like, I, you know, I'm not feeling like I'm a hero making art or anything, but I feel like it would be, there's so many, you know, when, when people are working in your, earlier in your career, and it's hard to get yourself, you know, working seven days a week, or like, like, like I've learned tricks to keep myself, to get myself into the studio the next day, or if I go away for a few weeks, to not have a pause when I get home. But it's, it's, you know, it would, it, I think it's easy to just, it would be easy not to do work, like to go in the studio and, you know, just look at your phone or do this. But I, I think right now, like when, and we both have lots of time doing that. Like that's just part of yeah. being a human right now often. But I think um, it, it's a, it's good. Like I think it's really, we're, we're doing something purposeful. Yeah. What about the phone concept of like the Instagram and, and that? But that, you know, being in my world, like, that, that didn't exist, you know, we went from slides to, no. and to emails, and now, you know, if I look at an artist, then typically I'll look at their, their Instagram account. Well, yeah, you know, you see... So, you, 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 which is very convenient, but it's also very common. So now the artists are looking at the other artists' Instagram accounts. So there's a lot more homogenization of, of art, I find. And so there, it's really hard to find someone original that isn't looking at Instagram. You know, they're leading rather than following and you know, in some ways, I feel that you two are, are more on that side of the world. Mm -hmm. You know, Jason, you're on Instagram a lot, but you love it, and you you know, you've really found something that. Yeah, I like doing those like doing little animated GIF stuff things stuff. and stuff. But, <laughs> but you know, yeah, you look at your like screen time. Sometimes it's like you know they give you updates on your phone. It's like your screen time's up. Like you're up to eight hours a day or something, and like, and you're like, oh, well, I guess I should make something like for this like. Paying a bike up or some or shoes or something and like it's yeah. like it was like so send it's, your enter, it's it can entertainment but then you, 10. yeah oh. yeah and to, like, pay attention. yeah mm -hmm. yeah it's um but so it's it's a it's a way to reach people though you know like you can you know whatever you it's like having your own TV station you know these days like 2023 like just but it has, like you know, you know it, it, your own media your own media source business, you know, the yeah business, so it's changed yeah. Yeah. For well, us. well, you can also buy viewers too, right? No, I realize that. Yeah. That's not, not what we look for, but there yeah. are artists that we know that have that are 
in that situation. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They're benefiting by having that. But you realize, uh, realize they, and they live in the country. Right? Yeah, how many people you can reach, you know, know like, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, yeah, necessarily. yeah. Yeah. So the idea of living in New York, which you are, Jason, in Brooklyn. Yeah. You know, it's, it's, it, what's that like? Um, it's, really it's, be it's become a, it, at times very, very homelike, you know, I go back and forth between the Lower East Side a lot and back and forth and running around the Bowery and like walking my dog and going for milk and like bumping into the neighbors and hanging out at the black old coffee shop for tea and not buying records, but hanging out around musicians and I go to a lot of comedy and uh, it's sometimes very small, like not quite as small as here, like you don't quite bump into people quite as much but in your neighborhood it, it gets very small and like sometimes you don't leave much and you have to break out of it so it's always nice just like here like today when I was showing off the city like it's just nice to show the city and the things you like about it because you forget what you've discovered and learned and like so um, I always like it when people visit the most we have a lot of people stay on our couch and um, um, it's it's uh, but I, the one thing I like to do like about New York is I don't like the small quarters you live in or we, we live in, but um, you get the best of the best, you know. But um, but the other thing is at times, and I've talked about this before, you get like um, some you'll get something amazing like Thursday night, and then you'll be something amazing Friday night, and then Saturday night, and by the time Saturday night comes, you've forgotten about Thursday. Like you just you've had this like amazing like experience that someone here would talk about like for half a year, and it's just it's not it just doesn't. Um, it's it's not as meaningful in some ways mm -hmm. like it'd be like if susan and i did a show every night or something like it's just like it's it's too much like it's just mm -hmm. there's too much stimuli and like but but I, i'm really enjoying it it's just um i'm enjoying um the variety of people and trying to learn and grow as a person because i felt like i was my, I had a good upbringing, but I was pretty sheltered and um, in some ways and like i'm trying to learn more about cultures and worldly events and all sorts of things just try to grow as a person and um even at my age and just like just keep learning and um experiencing things so but i know i've been having a really great time but i've been traveling so much lately like back and forth that it's a little bit of a lost feeling like just where yeah. home is the last few weeks and it's just been like party into gala into opening into like fundraiser into book signing like just it's just it's been it's been pretty wild like been fun but mm -hmm. I haven't been I haven't been down mm -hmm. you know no, you haven't. yeah really yeah and mm -hmm. Susan you've, you've dipped your toe into the world of New York City yeah have, have you stayed down there for like I know you've been showing a little bit down there with, with St. Elliot Jason but have you stayed there like for like for a couple of days or you just sort of deliver your work and turn um, around and come at back? the beginning it was just basically go there stay a night and come back go there, stay a night, and come back. Um, the gallery owner, Adrian Vanderplas, has made a deal with a, a really nice hotel just around the corner from the gallery. So the last time we went, which was early September, mid-September, yeah. um, he we got put up there for free in this really great hotel. Because yeah. otherwise, it's like it's super expensive. Yeah. You know, like the, the traveling. And I can't <laughs> ship my work because yeah. of the material. So what... We drive it down, and we hope that we have no issues at the border. And <laughs> so did, far, so good. I can relate to that. Did, yeah, did, like did, so. It, but it, no, like we. It was really nice this last trip because we had a couple days of just walking around Manhattan. Because yeah. we parked and we could just, you know, walk, and we just stayed in the Lower East Side. That's all. We we didn't yeah. go far. We didn't take it's, any it's subways. So or, dense. There's you so know? much going on. Yeah. And Jason suggested a few galleries, and you know, yeah. we just kind of walked and walked and walked, and yeah. you know, yeah. it was really good. But yeah, I love I love going to New York, and it's been like that's been a really great connection for me. And just having, um, you know, like another input, another set of input into what I'm doing, some different eyes looking at it. The last time we set up there, um, I was super nervous that he wouldn't like the work that I took, and it was like those <laughs> vases upstairs, like this. And I thought, oh, he's, it's really different, and they're vases, and he's not. It's too um, too common a form or something, you know, that he was going to be weird about that. Because, you know, he has, I took one piece one time that was broken and reassembled and it, it was intentionally broken and reassembled and really well mounted. And he said, I can't take that. Like my, my people won't buy something broken. Yeah. 
you know, and it's like it was like like it was really, and I didn't I didn't have any pushback in me at that point. But he um, he really liked them, and then Rob and I came walked back later after we'd walked around, and I said I just like to see the stuff in the window because it was the whole window of the gallery, and you know while we were there, like four different groups of people came up and they were just like gushing about my work, which was amazing. Uh, my husband said they were all actors that he hired. <laughs> yeah. Like acting? Yeah, he, he, yeah. No, he'd hired them all. He said, oh, hired really? them all, yeah. yeah he said, oh, they're all good. actors, yeah. yeah they, they've been yeah, waiting for us to come back, and it's all good. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Yeah, it doesn't matter. It's not real. It's yeah. not yeah. real. Don't, don't. But, yeah. yeah. No. But no, it, it, it has been really good. It's been a great experience. And, you know, London's, I, I'm really enjoying living in London right now. We kind of s- flipped the switch in how we lived here a few years ago. And that's been positive, and um, but it's always good to get out and get a perspective, you know, someplace else. Yeah, I think it's really important. And, yeah. You know, so when you have like London, and uh, New York, of course, after the pandemic, or people travel a little less, it seems, right? Like mm-hmm. people are not leaving home as much, mm-hmm. staying on a plane, including myself. So, it, but you know, with the Instagram, and again, getting back to Instagram, it sort of connects all these things very yeah. quickly, yeah, uh, instantaneously, basically. But yeah. it's not the same. And you know, Jason, you're in Brooklyn, and and you know your studio life there is different than, of course, in London, where you own a house and have a studio. And yeah. Back long. Yeah, you have to you make know, compromise so in some ways. Compromise. Like it's a compromise here in some ways that maybe you don't get a chance to see like some sort of worldly exhibit uh, exhibition here, right. but then you have a space where you can maybe it'll be a little more affordable and you can travel and go see something nearby and it would be the Albright Knox in Buffalo or AGO or something or, or some, sometimes they, you know there's some, some great work here too you know sometimes actually the thing I was going to mention when you were mentioning this was sometimes you can see work here that's just in the same level as, as, as New York or Toronto or, or another country um, city and um, it's all like you maybe overlook it because you think the bigger center's always got something better, you yeah. know. Well, that's classic. It's classic. It's almost a Curnow type thing. You don't have to leave to do good work, you know. Like I don't know, but well, that's it. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. You just make choices, and yeah. You know, we, uh, we uh, my family, uh, Nancy and I, we made a choice to stay in London. Yeah. You know, I've had lots of people asking why I'm not in Toronto or some other more important city than London. Yeah. You know, but I, we just figured out where. I've always felt this is home and this is this is what I do and this is where I'm going to do it. Mm-hmm. Which is a bit like Greg in a way when you read the plaque uh, on, yeah. on his tunnel, that's what it says. Uh, yeah. Yeah. You think to yourself, well, okay, that makes sense. It's, why can't we do it from here? Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, it might not be uh, like when you go to New York, there's more adulation, but also, of course, a big city can be uh, a, a more lonely place than a small city. Because, <coughs> you know, to be alone in New York is really hard. Yeah, or there's so many people around. <laughs> or people, people. Yeah, when be, you're alone yeah, here, it's, it's yeah. maybe not quite as dramatic. Or people trying to be more than they are, you know, like trying right. to be like reinvent themselves, you know, like just trying to be more big city than they actually are. And a lot of them are from smaller centers, like you know. And there's a bit of an artificiality to it. Like even the winter we spent out in LA, like dealing with some of the people there. There's some wonderful people, but there were a lot of people that just moved there and then. They take on this whole other persona, like and trying to be more than they are, and like it's a bit of an artificiality. Like, come sometimes. I know I was spending time in the prairies with my wife. Um, um, some of the prairie people were just the most genuine people, like almost like an artist-wise, like being like printmakers or something. You know, like yeah. just like just yeah, really comfortable true. with themselves. You know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But um, I've done a lot of studios with respect to being a prairie guy. Yeah. Respect yeah. To being a gallery. And yeah. It's a very, very different world. Yeah. Uh, you know, always lots of time and uh, yeah. willing to get outside for a walk. And, you know, just a, really yeah. a balance, I guess, mm-hmm. right? And mm-hmm. I think in London, we're always affected so much by why, why are you not in town? So yeah. That's the obvious mm-hmm. question. Well, I'm, I'm not, you know, like. <laughs> the quality. So, the but quali- that's the way it is. And, you know, I think we can, or we are. Well, I've been trying for a long time to try and establish ourselves in Canada as a gallery, which we have. Yeah. Most cities you go to, people know who we are and they, and they know the artists we represent. Yeah. Having people like you that live here or Jason part time, I guess, but is, is a great bonus. And it's important that people do stay here and, and make art and, yeah. and get a little recognition. And, um, but it also makes it somewhat interesting to visit what you're, your state is. Because we need to do things like this. It's, 
somewhat intellectual. You know, oh, mm-hmm. we're not we're not doing anything hugely important. Mm-hmm. And this is kind of fun to think about. Yeah. You know, if I lived in Brooklyn, like if I went to Brooklyn, uh, you know, that's fun to think of. Well, let's go online and see how much that costs. Yeah. Well, well, that's the Canadian mm-hmm. dollars are very good right now. Yeah. <laughs> it seems all connected. They end up on Carling Street. Yeah, <laughs> but it seems all connected to the Instagram thing too. So it's like, you know, like we've had. Both of us use Instagram quite a bit. Like you're having a lot of fun with it lately. With the, is it GIF? GIFs, yeah. GIF, yeah, I yeah. don't know. GIFs. GIFs. Yeah. 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 And yeah. and you're fun. Like you're doing good. Uh, it's fun what you're doing. Yeah, I really like I, it. I, and I'm more kind of mainstream. I'm having. I'm just doing some other things. Yeah. I'm putting some music in it. And I think it's purposeful. It's really good to show what you're doing and what's going on and getting it out there. But, you know, you can't, it's kind of like, I always think, like, to what end? Like, as I'm posting this thing off, like, to what end? Like, what is this? Why am I doing this? Mm-hmm. And that's, again, like, question. like why am I doing it? Like, what do I want out of this? What is sure. it? Yeah. And you're, you know, talking about, you know, London, Ontario, or Toronto, or New York, or Berlin, or whatever. Like, it's also to what end? Like, to what end? Yeah. What do you want? Like, what? And, and I think yeah. we can have a pretty good quality of life here. You've, yeah, you've no, got I was going to really say, I was just saying that the other day, I was just, uh, or, or just a few minutes ago, I just, the quality of life here is so good. Like, it is, you yeah. know, like you're walking around Harris Park or you're walking by the Thames Park and like you're raking your leaves in your yard or something. And it's like, it's so good in your brain. You know, I was come back like, la- like even last week and I was just like, I just felt like just, I was just like really grounded, you know, like it was just, wasn't like on like su- I mean, but sometimes you can feed off the the energy of the city where like the calm and the exciting um, mm-hmm. like n- uh, noise extremes. But but um, but I was gonna say too when you were talking um, about cities um, like the connections like now like even the people that I'm introducing from New York to people in London and like you know the Sebastian de Trillos or like people doing projection film and mm-hmm. and different, and like the connections so you can branch the two places and. Like, I mean, Greg used to do that with, Crono used to do that with Vancouver and like, and there was a, like a big connection between London and Vancouver and the literary world and George Bowering and, um, and then some of the other writers in Canada in the 60s and various things. Like you, you get centers working together, you know, so it doesn't really matter. Like you just, you just spend a few months in one place and you spend, you know, you can jump around a little bit and like work, you know, like, people from here like Susan can show in New York and then I can show here and then we'll get some some of her friends involved with you know and so mm-hmm. you, you 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 make things smaller and then you work together so like it happens in little movements you know so but yeah and I think that kind of speaks to us being both kind of artists and community people yeah community yeah. workers it's like artist slash community worker because you're you're like a real connector like you yeah. connect people really well and I connect different people well, and you're yeah. connecting people, and mm-hmm. it's, it's like I think that is a really important part in this time, yeah. as artists, is that, yeah, you know, I mean, you realize that you know trying to go ahead and make it on your own, like it's not, you might seem like it's going to work out better, but you, you want to go up together, things, yeah, you know? it's more, it's got more potency together yeah. somehow, yeah, 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 well, collaboration, I think that's what it needs to happen and it is happening there are more more for private galleries or public yeah. galleries or yeah. artist run galleries like the, the word of collaboration you know, there's you know particularly in canada we're always afraid of, of, of uh or we have been forced into superiority complex yeah so uh you know that's what you know the, the canadian tradition of seeing that and being very polite i guess and, and saying sorry as soon as we get out of bed <laughs> no you know so playing, you, playing tennis yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but you know, so in in a in a hard economy, or a, when you go through the pandemic, or like when you realize what life's about a little more clearly, yeah. uh, collaborating with people who have similar interests is it can only be good. Yeah. So if I work with another gallery, like it was a, a man here from another gallery last night, and and I didn't know who he was, and he eventually introduced himself, uh, Ben <laughs> Gallery on yeah. Adelaide Street. And I'm like, well, that's cool. You know, thanks for coming. Yeah. It's really nice to meet you. And like, I, he's like, he's not ever gonna put me out of business. And I would have no intent to put him out of business. It's just ridiculous. Yeah. yeah. Right. 
it, it's like music. Like I've got on this and he's got on that. Or, or it's yeah. Not, yeah. But it's still, you know, we still enjoy what we're listening to. Yeah. We're just listening to different things, or we I'm sure we have a lot of things in common. But this idea of an artist can be like that. I find, you know, sometimes where uh, they'll have curators come to London and and you know nobody knows about it. Like they don't take like what you did today. They don't take the curators around the city and say, well, this is. You know, so and so studio, and this is his studio, and this is my traditional gallery. Like, give him a little tour. Yeah. Even though it's not to your benefit, and I think Greg mm -hmm. was probably really good at that. Yeah. I know he was. He mm -hmm. took him to go see uh, uh, Pierre uh, to, to see uh, Murray Pablo right away, and yeah. sort of boosted Murray's career. But I mean, there's strength in numbers, don't you feel? And I think the idea of working together and uh, is a good solution because there's actually less work. Yeah. Yeah, for way. sure. Yeah. And it, it comes down to communication, and, and I think you guys, you know, you're great communicators. You know, when you you've driven to New York recently together, that yeah. the three of you went on the trip. I heard you talk the whole way. <laughs> No, um, you didn't. Well, no, not quite the whole way, but the, we had a lot. We had a lot of yeah. stories. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There was stories. Really yeah. Honestly, talk the whole way. That's, that's well, it went by pretty fast. <laughs> well, <laughs> Rob said you pretty did talk a you. lot, but it, the trip went really quick. Yeah, it I mean, was I wasn't like talking was, too fast. No, no, and it was interesting. Like, it was like it, it was flowing. Yeah, like yeah, it yeah. It was, it was, yeah. We were. It was. It wasn't like I let you guys. No, we all. So. <laughs> Did yeah, you, it, it, you talk the whole it was all fine. Yeah, 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 definitely. <laughs> yeah. Definitely. Like, so um, like a podcast or something. Like a, it yeah. was a lot like a podcast. <laughs> and yeah. then you played music for a yeah, while. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, we, went to the, we went to the UFO diner and it was yeah. a little disappointing. I was really yeah, hyping it. wasn't it. as good for breakfast as Yeah, lunch, no, so. yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 But, um, yeah. Um, and then we got really lost when we got intimate because my data wasn't working or something. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it was yeah. bad. But we, we oh. made it. We found your place. Yeah. You know, we've, we've connected a lot. Actually, it was one thing I wanted to talk about. Like, driving around, like, and I do that with a few other people here, and we'll drive around. And that's what I like, like, because you're slightly, slightly older, so you tell me stories that, that, mm -hmm. I, I, that I have to read magazines or books or... Or I talk to bartenders, or like just um, mm -hmm. to like get these stories of certain pop, like trivial yeah, pop like, culture stories, or like our little insights into certain things, or where people lived, or where or people interacted, or what they were interested in. Like I remember we've gone on some drives, and like Tom you were telling Benner's where house. Tom Benner's place was, or Ron Benner and Tom. The lived, house they or, grew up in. Yeah, <laughs> and like or like where like your dad taught Daryl Sittler, or oh, yeah. like or like um, wow. stories about yeah, my dad Tony the Tiger's voice. And oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, like, there was just, lots of, and yeah. you told me about um, Guy Lombardo's head on Lauren Ave. And we went up oh, yeah. and down Lauren Ave. It was like a really yeah. black, black, rainy night going up and down Lauren Ave trying to find that yeah. bust. And then I was at a garage sale and I could see it on someone's <laughs> front lawn. And yeah. the guy told yeah. me all about it. Oh, so, really? oh yeah. yeah, it's quite a, it's huge. Is yeah. That? No, Guy oh, Lombardo's, sorry. it's a bust of Guy Lombardo. Oh, it's I didn't know marble. that. It's about oh. this high. Yeah, I think it was crane it? lifted. It yeah, was crane yeah, lifted. Yeah. And, yeah. He, and if you catch the guy who lives there, he'll tell you a lot about it. Yeah, yeah. So, but yeah. yeah. Just, um, no, we had lots of fun driving around. Yeah, we were sometimes go to the it's hard to turn cemetery. off, you know. Yeah. Like, just like, you just have to like, just concentrate on the, the road and <laughs> coffee and like, like, you know what I mean? Like, sometimes it's hard to like, yeah. just like, um, just be regular person walking around, you know, like just you don't have to always be showing something mm -hmm. off, you know. Yeah. <laughs> but there you are know, stories like, about this place. Which place? Like just the city. There's yeah, there are. Yeah. yeah. Sure. Well, Jason's, well, you're both, but maybe that's something you have in common. Yeah, yeah. Interest in the history. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because I learned a lot from your stories, you know, and mm -hmm. I just remember taking notes after notes, and I'd love to write a book sometimes yeah. on some of it, but I'm not, I'm not particularly talented writer it'd have to be a maybe an audio project or something but. <laughs> well in your works i mean it, you, you both use the, the, the what you're talking about in your works like in your line yeah. lines and so language you, yeah you, you use yeah. a lot of history in your work too yeah mm -hmm. and, and choosing your, some of the imagery must come from these talks or walks or yeah or, or how do you find inspiration what is, what's made fa you? maybe family too and like um health or mental health or like um, insights into um, things going on in daily life or in the community or I mean I know Susan you're involved a lot with some like great charity work and like um, outreach for like 
addiction and mental health and like it's been pretty inspiring you know to see that mm -hmm. I remember I saw your talk at the library and I was like wow like just I was like I have to give more you know I try to give to <laughs> Cam H a little bit and various things and Casey House HIV and AIDS funding and like various things and like you never give enough you know like yeah. you see certain situations not to get all sad and stuff but like you know the homeless problem here and like I know we've commented on various things and and um to try to do your part and you know like just yeah make your comment and but then you know you're you're selling an object about that too you know so uh, yeah but yeah but well the idea you're talking about the when you get asked to to, to put some art into an auction yeah they yeah the funds for the, from the sale for yeah the yeah market. yeah but um well that's something artists are asked to do a lot yeah been, uh, yeah been consistently uh through my whole career there's always people being asked and yeah Mm -hmm. It's a tricky world because it's, uh, you know, the artists aren't really the, the flushest group what? of people in the world financially. Yeah. It's, and they're asked to give those things, but, you know, the lawyers, you know, they're not asked to Yeah, why not the lawyers, the accountants and stuff? Yeah. Like, that doesn't, yeah. why don't we have gifts? It doesn't seem to work. I, I said that. It's a bit confusing. Be, it is, it yeah. is. And I think um, sometimes it's really good for our work, and sometimes it really devalues it. Yeah. yeah. You know, and I, I, you know, I think we're both decent <laughs> human beings and we want to, you know, we see these problems because we're people that are out on the street. So we see these problems and we want to do something about it. But like Mike said, like we're not, like we're not the fleshiest people and we're, we're you know, yeah. I've got pieces of paper all over my dining room table every few weeks just covered in numbers trying to figure out, you know, how's it going to work this month or how's it going to work this month? And I think... You know, that's probably a pretty common state. I keep thinking I should do that in my work. But I see it and it's like such a personal, like it's like, oh, these are my personal numbers and I'm not supposed to share this with other people. Yeah. But maybe it is, like maybe that's reasonable. Like my one piece up there that says um, motor mouth is a creep. Right, well, that was the last piece yeah, I brought in. Yeah, the last piece I brought That was from, like we live right in the core and there's a lot of homeless people or, or people that are really struggling going up and down our street. And there's this one very small woman. She's always walking and she's like walking like she's being chased and she's just screaming out obscenities. Like, and it's like, she, I don't know what, I don't know what she's talking about, I, but you, you get little snippets and um, one snippet was motor mouth is a creep. Oh, so okay, right. <laughs> that's what it is. Like, and, and so we've be, we've kind of got to know each other. In the summer, I was coming yeah. home one day, and she was on the street, and I, I was taking some, uh, like freezies to my studio, and I was just at my house, stopped for a minute, and I so I had these in my car, and it was a crazy hot day, and she was outside, and I pulled over and I said, "Hey, do you want a popsicle?" Yeah. And she said, "Yeah." Like she was like, blah, 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 like just <laughs> screaming, 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 yeah. and she said, "Yes." And I said, "Oh, okay. I'll just let me pull over." And I pulled over and I said, do you want chocolate or do you want mango? And then I said, or do you want both? And she said, I want both. And then, so we introduced ourselves to each other. And so now I know her name. And so she can be going down the street. Or when we were working on CarePoint, she was going in sometimes to access services there. And I would just say, hi, you know, and her name. And she, <laughs> in the middle of this rant, she'd say, Hi, Susan. And blah, 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 blah. <laughs> just look back at it. So, yeah, well, it's interesting when you, cool. when you actually get to know the people in your neighborhood oh, of yeah. all different levels, you know, and like, you're like, oh, and then you start, like, get to know them. And sometimes, sometimes you can get to know them really, really well. And like, it gets a little awkward, like, just like they need a place to stay that night or like, or like you're like introducing them to, mm -hmm. I don't know. But like, yeah, when I spend a lot of time in Vancouver, which at times reminds me of certain s s s scenarios downtown here and um, um, around mental illness and, um, and housing and housing issues and various things and like just um, homeless uh, issues and just, uh, just, yeah, you wonder how close to get sometimes. You want to be helpful and like mm -hmm. and give back. And it's sometimes you can comment on it in your work and, but it's um yeah it I seems like the artists are the, the, the compassionate people is what's, yeah what's yeah. part of being an artist i think yeah. in a certain way like the quality that a lot of people share that our artists share mm -hmm. so maybe that's why you, you know they're asked and that'd be that's why they exist yeah mm -hmm. as opposed to all saying no to 
you yeah. know, that's enough. But um, and then it's also this idea of promotion and you know marketing and I shouldn't do it because so and so's in it and blah blah blah. Yeah. I mean, I'm familiar with all this because you've asked me these few questions, Jason. Yeah. Over the years, you know, should I put something in this offer? And yeah. I, I, you know, it's. I guess it's like all of us. We have to pick a few that we support, and then yeah, we yeah. Everybody. You can't give it to all. You give it to you know, so to you all. Mm-hmm. try and work well, with the better well. ones, and then, yeah. you know, and, and be generous as, as much as we can. But it's well, it's, like that yeah. Casey House auction, you know, and I I visited the facility, yeah, that's a good and one. I was like, there was a whole different level when I visited the facility and to see what they do, you know, and like yeah, my youngest huge. son there, and yeah. like just. You know, and then you, you really see what the help you're giving is giving to these facilities. Yeah. And, like, mm-hmm. it actually is reality. It's not just a gala where everyone's dressed up, you know, which which is it's good. You need a philanthropist, too, you know. Yeah. But, like, mm-hmm. you know, it's not a That's bad thing. That's in Toronto, right? There's yeah, there's yeah. Jenny's involved with that. Yeah, and, yeah. And, uh, you know, but they also understand that the economic side of it. So they, they understand that the, you two or whoever's involved with the auctions where, it, it, you know, it's a purposeful in the sense that they're going to get a – they used to least, I forget how much, quite a bit of money last year, last year year but which they need but on the other side of it they realize that the artists to get the better the better artists you know they have to be you know it has to be uh, a plus for them you know, like in their career mm-hmm. yeah to be in that auction and, and to sell for two or three times what they what they were supposed to sell for yeah so it, it, that's a huge um auction to get into i think and uh, and a very good one and partly because it's good for your for your career and it also puts you in front of a lot of Toronto collectors yeah and Jason you've done it for I don't know how many years quite a few five years or six now. years yeah so you and I do you remember we sat there together once and it was an auction I don't know ten years ago five six seven years ago and you were the last uh, it was like number six sixtieth auction, auction yeah, lot it was number really yeah quite a liquid <laughs> event and everybody's having fun and this and that and then Jason McLean comes up in and no one bid and, 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 and I'm like, and I, I, I left, I think it was like sn- slushy snow outside, and I'm yeah. like leaving on my own and like walking out of there like Charlie sell. Brown. Didn't get yeah. Um, and we were just like, I was like, I, you know, yeah. like father, yeah. son, and you yeah. know, you let, it, you let a goal in, you know. Yeah. You yeah. let a goal yeah. in. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, with five seconds left. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was so really you're like, sad. Yeah. But, you know, we, here we are. Like, you've got a rebound, and that's the key in this business. Yeah. You know, yeah. you have to, if you're going to be in the arts, it's not easy. You have to stay on. No, it. I think that's why we were, we were talking about Instagram, yeah. and, like, I keep pers- plugging and pushing because, like, you just have to always keep reinventing yourself mm-hmm. or coming from new angles and, like, like, like preparing us together. It's like, right. so I've showed here a bunch of times, and, yes. like, it's just keeping it fresh and new and, like, Keeping the enthusiasm going and the and the momentum and like um, um, you know just because sometimes people can be like oh yeah there's Susan she does ceramics and like that's all you do and like right. mm-hmm. and like and then you want to show you can do other things and like try different things and like you can do your building or you can do like you know or like the audio project I do the cough mm-hmm. park yeah. and like like there's various facets of things and it's always it's always surprising when someone thinks they've got a handle on you and you give them a little bit of a curve you know like just um sometimes you can give them a little too much of a curve. <laughs> but, <laughs> but um but sometimes, <laughs> yeah. sometimes yeah. yeah yeah editing right well, yeah no, I yeah don't. stay young yeah. Well, and just yeah. be resilient, right? Yeah. Because there's going to be rejections. Yeah. yeah you have there's to rejections, and you just get up yeah. the next day and just keep. Yeah. Like, like I remember. Or like, expect it, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Expect it. Yeah. 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 Like even it's like you know. It makes it easier. Doing if you apply for grants, and you haven't really done that. Not too much. much. A little, that, a little that, bit here and there. Yeah. Yeah. Like yeah. I, I have, and I've had you know like yeah. reasonable success with it. But I realized, and I, I used to, when I was younger, get, like, just devastated if I didn't get it. Right. Like, I had a 100% success rate until I was about 40. Everyone I applied for, I got. And then it was like, I didn't get them. And it was like, what's going on? And yeah. I took it so personally. <laughs> totally. yeah. And then then I just, re- like, you know, sitting on a few juries and stuff like that, you realize, you don't know who, like, what else was there and what other story was, like, you know, it's not the best one there. It's mm. one of a bunch of, like, you know, good good things and just like that's the same in a in a gallery show or something yeah yeah last night was such a positive feeling you know just all the community coming together and mm-hmm. just, it seemed like people really needed something to lift them up and it's like days have been getting darker the news is stormy and like just like just so it just felt like people needed to come together and have a really you know solid time and just really celebrate and like it was really it was um 
you know, even like the crowd tonight, this is great, you know, like mm -hmm. just like uh, two nights in a row, like just, you mm -hmm. know, and like, I don't know, and the weather's been good. And it's kind of. You're huge. Yeah. Huge. Yeah, 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 You're yeah, huge. Yeah. Yeah. Huge. No, it was really fun last night. They had yeah, like many more people than I thought would come. Yeah, yeah. there was yeah. a lot of people. There was a good energy. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. Mixed. There was people with, you know, uh, suits and jackets on type. Yeah. Of yeah. yeah. I, I, you know, it's, that's what I like. It's a mix of people. And that's what this room is, is for. And this is what the yeah. gallery is for. So people can run. Like we have to connect. That's what I basically do for a living. I have to connect someone to your work. Mm -hmm. and, yeah. And then that connection and you're trying to be successful becomes a sale. Mm -hmm. basically because they they you know there's an emotional reaction to them and, and that that tends to be what why people buy art yeah is because they re they've reacted to their emotion yeah mm -hmm. and and then the price is you know hopefully becomes irrelevant yeah mm -hmm. right yeah. so like last night we had a few people that were a little concerned with the economy and all these things and the negative spin on it all and, and I'm like well do you can just you can pay you can pay over time. And the woman said, I'll take it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. She was just bluffing on the stock market. That's funny. <laughs> That's really <laughs> funny. Yeah. She said, oh, the stock market's not very good. And I'm like, yeah, I've never heard that yeah. before. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's yeah. funny. No, so I said, well, yeah. So I'll anyway, take she it. did it. And she bought that Jason. Which is nice. Yeah, she no, it really made, my, really made my night. Yeah. Sadly. Yeah. Yeah. We need more like that. Well, the, the community. <laughs> yeah, go upstairs. The, 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 the community keeps giving and giving, you know, like it's an incredible. Well, community. we had a, yeah. a, a little meeting this summer of, you yeah. know, like we were going to get divorced or have a yeah. trial separation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Should we stay together? What the hell's yeah. going on? You know, yeah. all that sort of stuff. And, and I'm, you know, I'm, we're good, but we're not, like, we're not magicians. No. So yeah. I don't even deal with what I can deal with, like last night and today. And yeah. Tomorrow. Yeah, so we try, as you guys know. Um, so that's where the idea of Susan, and I thought, well, I've, I've been watching Susan. She's really doing some things because I've known her quite a long time. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, in life, you sort of get connected, and then you get mm -hmm. deep, deep connected, and then, and then now we've reconnected. Yeah. And, um, but I thought just driving in the car, I don't want to hit me, but with Susan, that's it. She was yeah. really good with him, and vice versa, and I, and I know their buddies. And um, when we, we're going to leave through the show, when we go, we'll go upstairs and leave, and you can have a look on the show on the way out. But it's really for me, it's because I sit up there now, and it's a wonderful show. And it was fun to set up. It took yeah. a couple of days to figure out the logistics of we didn't want anything to get broken during the during the opening. Yeah, I was a little nervous Having about that. Having yeah. on pillars in a in a mm -hmm. gallery with a bunch of shenanigans going on. Yeah. Overserved. <laughs> yeah, there's people that don't buy art. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, you never know what's going to happen at an opening, so you know safety first. But when you start showing pots, it, it's a little there's just a certain risk there, ultimately, yeah. Yeah. as opposed to a museum where people are a little better behaved. Yeah. So they're not allowed to have drinks around yeah. mm -hmm. pottery. You need a few security <laughs> guards upstairs. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we did. It could go as the end or something. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It took. It takes a lot of people to do an opening like that. It really mm -hmm. does. You know, it's it's, it's over. You know, it's less than ten, but it's over five. Yeah. Yeah. Couldn't do that. It, most of it's invisible, but um, it, it's 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 entertainment. It's, it's like I think I mentioned it's theater. theater. Basically, it starts and it, it gets sort of. We don't know who's showing up and what it's going to yeah. be like. You just hope for the best. Yeah. And uh, last mm -hmm. night was great. And we, you know, since the pandemic, we haven't done a lot of openings and like any gallery. And there's there's you know there's some interest, but there's still people that that used to come that don't come anymore. Apparently, yeah. You know, people that I know and, and that have collected and, you know, it's a social thing to do openings, I think. You don't necessarily have to buy something. It's just, it's a nice way to meet people or hang out. You know, yeah. talk to you guys about, about you know, if they're a lawyer, if you're talking to an artist, it's got to be, like, pretty cool and, and not very stressful. Yeah. Right? Yeah. <laughs> so they should, they should do that more often. Yeah. You know? So I think that that's what we're trying to do is mix people that yeah. Yeah. have stressful jobs with, with stressed out artists. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Put them together. Yeah. See what yeah. happens. Yeah. Because it is, it's a community. Like we talked about, it is a community that buys art and it's a community that makes art. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you need to have that. And, uh, but you need leadership. And, and every collector usually has someone that they know that's a mentor. Um, and in London, there's, there's not a lot of senior mentors right now, um, which is sad. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So like Ralph Woodman, that, that generation, they're gone. So, they're, you know, they're, 
So there's a bit of a void there and, um, in this city for that kind of public leadership of owning the art and, and so commissioning art. You know, you've, you've been commissioned by the Children's Museum, which is fantastic, oh, right? That's a huge Yeah, I just went and saw that today, actually. Yeah, yeah the you? elevators, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah it was and wonderful. Jason's got his car there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. yeah. 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 That was the Not head. off my hands anyway. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. It, was, it didn't fall through the floor, the gallery, or anything. Uh, we had yeah, some great we were worried about that. Yeah, yeah. There were, and then there was talk of it going on the roof, and then the airport, and very. I wanted it on the roof. Yeah, great, yeah. But, you know, yeah. That's a crazy world. Yeah. <laughs> I thought the airport was a logical place for. Yeah, it. that would have been that would have been fun, you know. You know, with Museum London. Yeah. Said, hey, you see this. And well, we could do another one, you know. <laughs> We were talking about doing. <laughs> <laughs> we were talking about doing a car for the show that. and driving yeah, around no, the city. I was that was a classic prank. I remember, I remember yeah. telling tell, 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 tell Jenny like two days before the show. I was like, I'm trying to find a car to paint up to drive around the city to promote the I show. Know. You know, I think that would have been fun. I so was talking to her on the phone, and she was like, Yeah, he wants to get a car and paint it. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, well, that sounds good. That yeah. sounds good. Yeah. Yeah. Could have no, done no, it. Another, no, another, another next show. Next show. Yeah. 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 Yeah, but that's it. You have to you have to be original, and I think that's an original idea. Yeah. And that's why I said earlier, like <laughs> the idea of originality with, with Instagram is is not it's not there. Yeah. It's it's outside of Instagram, and you can bring it into Instagram, but there's so many people on there uh, that have less talent looking to people with talent, and they're emulating and copying yeah. them. And, you know yeah. that didn't used to be there. Yeah. Uh, like yeah. those are Craig uh, Kernel's books back there on the shelves, and that's how they grew up, just looking at books and. Yeah. We looked at TV, I guess, and then now they're, everyone's got the iPhones. So it's, it's you know, in, in 10 or 20 more years, um, it's going to be America. Yeah, be like teleporting to the gallery. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What's, what's yeah, but like, that would make all semi work over. Is that like a Jetson? <laughs> yeah, totally. Yeah. What's teleporting? Yeah. Bring me up yeah. speed on that? No, I don't know. I I talked about that for a while. I think it'll, it'll happen. In life, it's gonna come back. I, I'm it's not a big sci-fi guy, but like I yeah, yeah. But yeah, uh, there's gonna be a lot that happens in our lifetime. So yeah. But some of it's going inward too. Like it's not all going outward. Yeah, I mean, and a lot of people I mean, relocated from the cities, you know, in the pandemic to the rural setting settings, and like right. and like went more small town and virtual and various things and like. Which has a strong points, you know, a different quality of life, and yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah. Well, I think that the you know you guys work hard, and, and uh, there's usually seven days a week, as you as you probably know. Yeah. And of course, it seems easy because some of the work that artists do is just thinking, wondering. Yeah. Yeah. There's you a know, lot of imagining. Going, going out for coffee. Yeah. <laughs> going for coffee. It yeah. is like that's work. Yeah, no, it's true. It totally is. Like it's yeah. 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 Going out, it looks it looks easy, but it's not. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, well, I've been accused of that probably too. You know, what the yeah, the hell, walk. What the hell do you do all day? You're walking and stuff. And yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, I see people sometimes like like doing construction and digging holes and like like I saw some guy near the courthouse here like using a sub pump to drain water. All of it. I'm like, I'm like, wow, I have it pretty good, you know. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like I was like, I, you know, like I'm like showing. I don't know. But, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah you don't have calluses. No, like, yeah, you're pretty soft hands. Yeah, so, yeah. Yeah. yeah, but oh, wow. yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's embarrassingly soft. But you had to do the wrist exercises, you know, the drawing, the intricate muscles, you know. Yeah. 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 <laughs> well, we all have families too. You have two kids. You have two kids, and yeah. we have Nancy and I have two kids. So, I think that, you know, with your family, do you find that uh, there's any influence there? You know, for the way you live and the way they're gonna live, or they are living, or or do you find somewhat like what I find is really a disconnect there in the sense of like my daughter's moved uh, out again <laughs> and she's got a new place and I'm like, well, you can have that painting, you can have this painting or that painting. Because I have some over here, like I've got more paintings than I need, right? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> which I should because I'm, I'm a supporter of the arts. So like you guys yeah. in, the, in the auctions, I support the artists by buying their work mm -hmm. to help them out if nothing's selling or just give them a little boost to here and there. And uh, and then so she, I get a person to come and help move her, and she doesn't take any paintings. And I'm like, well, <laughs> yeah, he's she's got an well, obsolete so or later, something. And then I saw I saw her again last weekend. I'm like, hey, well, you know, it's just I'm, I'm it's surprising because she's grown up in a house where there's nothing but paintings. Yeah, yeah. We're a little overstocked, 
<laughs> yeah, so there you go. You know, the one that men and also have. Yeah, it was one of my mom and dad's. It, it was, was, but my dad, it, my mom had bought it for, <coughs> for her dad. Anyway, so do you find that, that the, the, with children, the, how different they are than you expected? Uh, you know, mm-hmm. especially being artists, and you're hardly a father. You're, you're barely an adult. <laughs> that's the beauty of Jason. Yeah, right? yeah, that's yeah, the beauty yeah. of Jason. <laughs> he is, but yeah. you're a really good dad. Like I well, think you're well, a really. I, cool I, I have a serious side to me, which some of you <laughs> probably don't. Like I like, I get all quiet and like. Just, yeah, like you were giving us marital no, advice the other yeah, night. Like, yeah, we're, yeah. like we're having a little. I have a grounded issue side, you know. Like you, it snaps back in sometimes, and like yeah. just um. But no, my my kids um like I've told a number of you, but like my oldest son goes. To business college now and like and he's he was doing avant-garde in yeah and yeah, and yeah he, he was doing in manhattan. yeah manhattan in a tower and like wow. and like he was doing avant-garde cinema for like f- short videos with electroacoustic music and stuff and like and i was really happy for him and he was screening some and sending them to festivals and various things and like but like i was getting too maybe too excited about it about it and my youngest son goes to film high school and like so I have a feeling they're going to pair together and like they're going to be two like like a safety brothers kind of thing and like just like, but I mean but but the, the rebelling thing you know like just wanting to do something different than your parents you know like, I mean, it's just, it just I think it happens like I didn't want to be in the car business with my like my dad or or be like repo man or like just popcorn bi- popcorn business yeah. you know like just um, but no I was more the car dealership thing but um, but I didn't drive and like. You always want to do something a little bit different, and then, but then you kind of come back around a little bit as life goes on, and you start relating more, and then you're like it, your your parents aren't so bad, and like they actually you know they they change your diaper and like just like, you know, it's like and uh, but no, but it's um I I I find my kids funny, like we trade comedy links yeah. all the time, and like and we joke about things, and but I'm sometimes too cluttery and too erratic and too like um um i'm i don't know like my kids seem like they they want to be more level like they want to be like m- more like structured especially my oldest son so yeah. that sounds like yeah kids. Yeah. yeah like a, yeah. a rebel against the artist parents you yeah know? yeah because it's like i think more normal yeah, yeah normal kids have their kind of uptight parents to rebel against right and like i don't think our kids had that problem yeah. But my kids are, oh, I don't know. Like they, they're pretty, they like to be creative. I think they think being an artist is the easiest thing in the world. Like they do. They totally right. think it's like I do nothing. <laughs> and, and, the, and my son thinks I get huge amounts of money periodically. <laughs> like it's so, like huge, huge, outrageous amounts of money. And um, yeah, it's just kind of weird. And then, you know, I don't know. My daughter's a librarian, so like really different. And but they, um, yeah, I, like I think they appreciate what I'm doing more now. I really took like I think as a woman artist, I like I didn't even self-identify as an artist until like the last ten years, probably. We lived um, in the suburbs when my kids were growing up, and about. <coughs> three years ago or something like that, we moved into the center of the city and our neighbors in the suburbs were there for 20 years. None of them probably knew I was an artist. Mm -hmm. Like I really, it was really like my dirty secret and I was, you know, I had a part-time job and doing that. So my kids didn't really, like like that I've I've really, you know, put this huge focus in my life onto being an artist in the last, uh, I don't know, I had an accident in 2018 and kind of after that, it was like, no, this is, I don't want to do that other stuff. I want to do this now. So, and I think it was a bit of a harsh, harsh thing for them. Yeah. You know, because your kids grew up with you as who you are now. Yeah. And my kids grew up with, you know, a mother who, someone, an older artist said to me one time, um, Ian Turner, who used to work with Patterson. Right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And he said, um, he, it was really good advice. And he said, just keep your brush wet. Like, you know, when I couldn't work all the time, just keep your brush wet, basically. 
basically. So you just always got something on the go. Mm. And so, but I was mostly like a, a mother, you know? Uh, it and takes time. It does take time. And it's just, it I don't know if I do it the same way again. Like if I, I don't know. I don't know. The, my kids are a bit tricky. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I just thought that, that, that I would have more influence artistically on them than I yeah. do. No. Yeah. You know, I mean, it didn't plan for that, but I just thought it would be, it would just be evident that they would, they could, because I can't live in a room with blank walls. I know. I just can't. And then once you put the art up, you realize, wow, that's huge. Yeah. The difference, mm -hmm. you know, and if I could go to a lot of houses and show people that, I could sell a lot more art. Clearly, I can. But cause they don't, they don't always realize that because they just don't do it. You know, it's just not part of the, they don't have a need for it. It's something that isn't in their life at all, and therefore it doesn't exist. I think there's an Instagram opportunity for you right there. <laughs> <laughs> like, seriously. I'm trying. No, but, like, go into open houses, take pictures, and then oh, push yeah? put your painting on it. Yeah. Well, and we've done that. We used to do shows, you like, know? Uh, collecting shows upstairs, 101, 102, 103. We'd bring collectors like Woodman. And they would tell why they collect a bunch of sort of well-to-do people that, that didn't collect. And it was actually were effective. But, and one of the things we did for one show was, I had Jenny and another staff member bring paint, like there was a blank room for the party in the, the main gallery upstairs. And then during the party, they brought, we already had the paintings like hooks there and we knew where everything was gonna go and we took them all and put them in the back. So they brought them out like one every half hour. So by the time the party started really going, you know, at nine o'clock, the, mm. the place, the art, the, all the art was on the walls. Like mm -hmm. the place had changed. <coughs> So mm -hmm. it was, it was, that was a cool event. Mm -hmm. That's a good idea. Because then I was trying to show them the difference between, but I'm not sure if they noticed. I got, but like at a party, like last night, I always look for people that are looking in, in, in a room like this, or looking out at yeah. the art and talking. So if, if everybody's looking at each other at, on, you know, on the inside, then it's just a cocktail party in a way. It's like it's very social. And for you know, I'm in the business, so... I need people to look at art and talk. How was last night? Well, you know, the, the young crowd, there was a lot of young people that were quite fascinated with the art, because I like taking pictures of people that are looking at art from behind, you know, like you'd see in, you know, in a museum. And yeah, it was a nice mix, yeah. I mean, yeah. The, you, it has to be social, mm -hmm. or you, you can't really put pressure on people, or they won't come. Yeah. So it has to be fun. Like, we want it to be fun first. Like, I think that's important. Mm -hmm. And then it needs to be like impressive or educational or, or really beautiful, like your show is beautiful. The one thing with, with the big opening like last night is people can't see it. Mm -hmm. There's too many people. Like yeah. when you go upstairs tonight, you'll be like, wow, that's beautiful. Because mm -hmm. <laughs> it's just all sitting there right now mm -hmm. and talking to each other, and, you know, being, getting used to having each other in, near to each other, like the mm -hmm. pots and the, yes. the paintings, because I don't think you two have ever shown together. Well, in New York, not not, not not as much like not like York. not like yeah. this, but like certain pieces have yeah. gone near each other, right. yeah. but not like a whole show. Yeah, not, no, yeah. it's the first show we've ever done together. Yeah, I always yeah. think that's one of my sort of weird things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Say yeah. It's like the Rothko room. Yeah, like Tate Modern. I don't know yeah, yeah. yeah, like the, like the new the New Yorker the New Yorker is jokes like or something. It's just yeah, yeah. I just sit there and watch people come and go. Yeah, yeah. Well, anything else we want to share with uh, the audience? I guess I, I had just quick, I had an interest in Susan's history with in the early punk scene in London and um, talking about some of the clubs you used to go to. We've mm -hmm. talked a little bit here and there yeah. about that. And like, yeah. so we've had a tie in with music a little bit over the years, like a, the last right. couple of years and like little bits and pieces, but not a lot. But no, I just, no it was fun. And, it, and I think a lot of those talks, those were things I hadn't thought about in ages yeah and so your interest in it was really like oh yeah I can, you know you kind of forgot about that part of my life and yeah and it was fun like telling you I was telling you the story about New Mexico and stuff the yeah. other day and it's like you kind of go through something yeah and you remember parts of it and that's been really cool like it's just been um kind of like a generator or something like it's been a bit of an idea generator for yeah. me sometimes talking yeah. to you well, you, you realize how much you've done in your, your time and you forget things you've worked through and moved through, but then that all becomes part of your personality, you know, like, like I'm sure there's like some punk aspects to your, your work or your career, your attitude or something or your persistence or, yeah. you know. Like, I think how I yeah. don't really, 
like I don't follow the lines, you know, yeah. like the way I draw and stuff like that. Like it, it's yeah. awkward and rough and scratchy. And I, like I think for a long time I just thought that I was a terrible drawer. And then there was some switch and I thought, no, like I'm just drawing. It's kind of yeah. guttural or something, the way I'm drawing. And I have more, I give it more value now. I wasn't going to say this, but I don't say it, but when, <laughs> um, you seem like you, the last year and a half or so, you've gotten more confident with coming into yourself as an artist because it seemed like you were questioning things when I first met you mm -hmm. you were questioning if you were even an artist or not and I'm like what are you talking about you're an amazing artist mm -hmm. and like look what you've done you know and like what? and then I was like trying to build you up and I felt like I was always giving you a, like a pep talk but like you seem <laughs> but seem like you you haven't been saying that as much lately no, like you no. know like, like I think it has and I think this yeah. relationship's really important yeah. for that yeah. but I like I did you know I, I've done those big mosaics in the city and big tile works and things and a lot of the, the my earlier work was about you know disability or my mother's disability and the apparatus that we'd used and I could draw them all from memory so they were just my memory drawings and it's kind of like your mind maps were my memory drawings of that yeah. and and I that was really difficult you know talking about family that was really difficult for my family when I did that work because there was shame in my mother's disability and it was kind of like this whole like this crazy trajectory that we went through. And I, I got to a point where um, actually just before that Canada 150 mosaic um, at the Clay Art Center, I was just, I, we were living in the suburbs. I had a studio in the basement um, and I was done. Like I was going to get rid of all my equipment. I didn't know what I was doing. And because I worked like I've worked with clay, but I've never been involved with any potters guilds or groups or anything like that. So I decided um, to join the Clay Art Center or, or take up, I took a beginning pottery class because I love the material, the medium, but I, I just, it was just really tricky to, to work with it. And I took this class and then I, and I, and no one knew that I was an established artist. You know, and so I, because they were they were ceramic artists, and I I was a visual artist working in ceramic, so there was like this like I had this like weird relationship with things. So after about three weeks, someone outed me. They realized who I like that I had done this work or something like that, and then that opportunity to to, to do the Canada One Hundred and Fifty came up. I hate calling. I the title of it is because we come from everything. Like I, it was really tricky to work with that Canada 150 money. But um, then I was able to tell personal stories, but they weren't my own, they were someone else's. Mm -hmm. And that was a real, and then I got doing this other work and that was kind of yeah. almost when we started talking. Yeah. You know, so that was, uh, it was an important, like it's an important, I, like and sometimes you need to, do something and then look back at it to see what has actually happened there. And now I'm getting more away from it and it's, I'm doing other things. You know, it's not quite, it's more universal or, you know, just noticing things happening on the street or, you know, conversations. Like some, there's some conversations we've had in some of those pots. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. so. Well, I think we'll uh, open it up for questions if anyone has any curious thoughts about Jason or Susan's careers or mm. their lifestyles. But anyway. Yeah. <laughs> Should I answer them? <laughs> Should I answer them? A little ther <laughs> therapy session. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Anything you'd like to <laughs> please oh, limit. Jason, I've got a question. Yeah, oh, yeah. oh, you get a question <laughs> for me. Yeah, yeah. I, know, yeah. I know when he comes and goes. Yeah, yeah. It's been a real joy, actually, to have you in the building. Oh, Studies great. Yeah, yeah. You've been a great, great uh, roommate of the of that yeah. one. The one night I called you at two thirty in the morning, I thought there was someone yeah, coming into the building. Yeah, called me two thirty in the morning. <laughs> and then I was like, oh, geez. It was like someone's out. someone's in the building. There's, there's not a good phone call at two thirty. No, well, I, yeah, called Jenny, I called Jenny first. I called Jenny first. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So Jason's like, "Hello, Michael." <laughs> <laughs> and 
<laughs> I think it's either the fire department, the cops, cousin Vinny. Someone, well, it was the dance club the next door, and they, the they, their door. their hallway was right beside it. And it sounded like they were in the entrance, and like I was like, okay, well, like I don't mind if someone's coming into the building. Like that's fine. Like I can deal with it. I've been around some rough scenarios, but I was like. Uh, so I went downstairs and I had the door open. I was like, I expecting people to be coming in and out of the basement with paintings or something. Oh, like, and uh, yeah, you just like, Charlie, do you want me to go downstairs? <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, if you want to, because I'm thinking like it's the alarm going. Bark, 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 uh, no, the, no, it was the like, battery was low like, or no, something. No, no, the alarm. Yeah, I don't hear the alarm. Yeah. I'm like, I'm, I'm smart enough to go right that well, there shouldn't be anyone in the building because the, the alarm works first. Yeah, because I've got about. You know, five different ways that the alarm works. If they cut the wires, <laughs> it still works. All those sort of things. Yeah. So he, I felt really so bad. So he goes downstairs and he opens the door. I think. Yeah, because I was going to attack me. Actually. Your cousin <laughs> Vinny's out there, there like making the pizza. Building, <laughs> no, no, I I haven't slept well as a child, like since a child, like this. Count the sheep and. Uh, <laughs> In the morning, yeah, no, yeah, just, yeah, <laughs> just keep one light on a little yeah. bit. I, yeah, I, anyway, yeah, anyway, it was yeah, a good story because yeah, there's nothing bad, but yeah, no, so it was what fine, happened, yeah, yeah. What happens, we did have an alarm that was beeping every once in a while, like it was yeah. on the yeah. third floor, yeah, and it, it was needed a new back. I don't know, how long yeah, it needed a little shove, yeah, so it just and happened when I stayed, you know, beeping. it just happened, so to, it, it yeah. Was legitimate. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. But that was, yeah, I don't like those calls. No, mm -hmm. I don't like to make them, no. Yeah. It's those are hard. Yeah. Um, well, we're peeling the layers of the onion back, aren't we? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, but it is a relationship. I'm in the relationship business. That's the business I'm in, is relationships. And then part of it, part clearly, is this relationship with the individual artists. Like, the, these two, you know, having yeah. these two people together, that I know well enough, but also, yeah. you know, it's a partnership, but it's, it's a, ultimately, uh, at one point, a, you know, an individual relationship, mm -hmm. which I have a lot of, and I've had a lot of relationships with a lot of different people, both on the, the collecting side, the great people that, that aren't with us anymore, and uh, which is fun for Patterson and Yona. Like, it's, it's really a cool yeah. life that I've carved out, and then, you know, meeting new people, because I come, I don't, I've never, I haven't studied art, as you probably know, but, uh, <coughs> you know, it's my calling, and I'm comfortable in it, and uh, I like it, and I enjoy the crowd, you know, I enjoy mm -hmm. people that are interesting and creative, and, and, because uh, the banking world is, is, you know, the, the economic world is pretty dry, I, 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 I know the difference between a debit and a credit, and makes sense, and, <laughs> you know, so there's really not much else you need to know. Go ahead. So sorry. So sorry, but so yeah. What's happening well, with fine. the Children's Museum and your artwork there? I, um, I'm doing a huge mosaic in the new museum, and like it's 21 feet high by about 26 feet wide, so it's, um, it's actually kind of, it's really fun to work on. I was working on it a bit today. The children, we've done, we're doing workshops with children. So I, my strategy has been, I, I need to control how, what they have. So I make my own templates, like shapes that they're gonna work on. And then I make my own tools. So I've made these, all these stamps. I don't know, did I show you those? Yes, you did. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so I've made all these stamps and the stamps become like these eyes and things. So I give, we do workshops, and the kids come in and make, make tiles, and then those tiles go back to my studio, <coughs> and um, they get bisque-fired, stained, glazed, and then they're all, right now what I'm trying to work out, I have an intern from Western working with me, and I'm trying to work out how what I have so far, because I've done three workshop series, each one is three days. Since this started, we started talking about this in 2019 and um, so everything's just been put off so it's a, it's a big it's a really big project and it should be done next summer and so there's like a portion my my job is to use the child generated tiles to make an artwork to make an artwork of mine so um, actually there's a piece upstairs that's right by the front window front doors you're going out and it's got a lot of mirrors in it 
and it's really given me an idea, like there's an area in this drawing, I've kind of got this working drawing and it keeps changing, like I, I work from, I've taken photographs in the museum of this big wall and then I draw on that and then I keep adding to it. So there's an area, big area of sky and the kid, I've done all these um, silhouettes that the kids have done and they're, they're on it, they're just phenomenal. Like they're so much better than I could ever make. And so those silhouettes will become the sky and they'll be surrounded by mirrors like the ones upstairs. And um, yeah, they made boats and submarines. It's amazing. Yeah, yeah. <coughs> And then Jason has a car. Yeah, yeah a smart car. And yeah. I, I, I had ideas of trying to work the Pez Museum that I did with my kids and friends in the, into the museum collection sometime, maybe or a donation or something. Or, or mm. they were thinking they wanted me to paint a dinosaur and then a carport or something for the for the smart car or house or something. Oh, cool. Did they talk about that yesterday? I, I, no, no, they didn't. I didn't talk to them about that, but okay. maybe eventually. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, it's a very cool, like it's a really like yeah, it was wonderful expansive. seeing that out there today. Yeah, like just, just yeah. how vast that place is. Just wow. Yeah, yeah, it's it's really it's massive. It's going to be a phenomenal facility. Yeah, yeah. and the one thing that they have in the new place is that um, they believe that children can use power tools if they're um, supervised. Mm -hmm. So there's this huge work like maker space that they're making. Uh -huh. I know it's, a, it's it's kind of a crazy idea, but it'll be it'll be good. <laughs> I know. Seriously, seriously, like they all of those tools and um, it's a yeah, how's the insurance? It's an yeah, opportunity totally, yeah, for an insurance yeah. agent here. Yeah, yeah. Um, but um, yeah, so they're they're working on things and they were like Paul Vandeborn when I was in his studio getting the stuff to make those frames. Right. He has all these tables he's made. Oh, so he's got a link. Good for him. So I'm connecting him. I've connected him to NASA, <coughs> who's oh, you know going to make these because they want to make. They they kept having um, museum designers design this maker space, and they'd come back and they'd be kind of sterile. And then they came into my studio, which is like what, the opposite of sterile, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> like it's pretty, and um, they were so excited by it, and they were just taking pictures of everything. So. And then seeing Paul's space again will be the same thing. So it's cool. Like there's, mm -hmm. and that's like a, that's like London taking care of London too. Yeah, that's right. You know? Yeah, yeah it's a small network. Yeah, so it's a very cool thing. It'll be really, really cool. And I will, yeah, at the top of the Kellogg's building. Yeah. Yeah, the top floor. Yeah. The fourth floor. Uh, uh. Yeah. They have the whole floor. So it's a big, big operation. Mm hmm. But yeah. they're behind with handrails that are lead, leading up. Uh, they were a couple of years behind, I think. Yeah, they were the first to sign on as tenants and the last to move in. Right. So, but it's a big, like, and their budget, I think, has more than doubled because of that. So. Well, they're not just the money they spend on handrails. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. No, it like they they are actually paying me the right amount, which is nice. So. Yeah. Yeah. And then some of the community ones, like CarePoint, you know, it's like, like I kind of have this, I can't have one, you know, that I always charge this price because CarePoint doesn't have that money, you know, and that, that was a Macintosh gallery project. So it's like, you know, just trying to make a life, like make enough to pay for my right. life. So. That's at York, on York Street and uh, what? York, the uh, old uh, John between, Ballone's. Yeah, there, between yeah. Maitland yeah. and where John Ballone's music. Yeah, it's yeah. the old John Ballone's music place, and yeah. that that was beautiful. just finished. Yeah. It is really beautiful, and I think yeah. that it's going to be promoted a little bit in the next little while. So. Good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Any other questions? I, I can't remember what it was called, but just the woman that's crouching. Yes. Can you talk about that piece or where the, your inspiration came in? Or? Well, actually, I have, um, I have been, I'm, it's just funny that we're in the Ross Woodman room because I have started Jungian analysis lately because I'm using all these, I use a lot of images in my work <coughs> and I, I knew some of them came from you know, just kind of personal history stories, and but some of them I didn't understand. So that's actually directly out of a, a dream, and mm -hmm. I'm trying to, um, like I, I'm really tracking my dreams and 
and the the process of that therapy is really interesting. Like it's actually really um, kind of. It's almost like what you said. Like it's giving me more confidence in what I'm doing, like and who like who I am and what I'm doing, and and being there with that, and not dimin like I think I was like a self diminishment machine for a long time, and now I'm trying to not do that. Yeah, you were you were yeah. much harder on yourself. Yeah. You know, when I first met you, yeah. Yeah. So and it's you seem like certain things have brought confidence and stuff like just sort of like or like knowing yourself more. I think so too. Yeah, and I got like yeah. I my it's hard in this city to have like those big commissions are they're tricky because like it's you know you guys both say how you've got really soft hands and I do not like have like I work with my hands all the time and I like they are they are pretty soft. It could work for you. But it's like <laughs> my yeah it is it's, it is yeah, for sure. Like, <laughs> I, I, yeah, 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 like yeah. you could do a mask or something on your hands <laughs> yeah, and stuff. Yeah, but so like I, <laughs> I had a studio accident today actually, which was a bit funny. But, um, but yeah, like my work's super physical. I get exhausted from doing it sometimes, and then I think no one sees it. So like I had a few like getting. I got a really big commission in 2022 to do a, a big public artwork in Lethbridge, Alberta. So that was huge for me to see that someone, like I was in this national competition, I got shortlisted and then I got it, you know, and I, I got it and I commit, I finished it, I got it all done. And I kind of, like I really love the scale of these big things. Like I, I really love, like making this work has been really fun. And, it, and I, I can see it as like a, it's really important, like the fun of it is really important. And just, you know, working with Mike and just, and you know, with you and it, just getting the whole thing together is really fun because the other work feels like you're pretty much on your own and it's a yeah. big thing and you're working like, like it's exhausting. Like abs like I, I have my working at heights. I, I can operate a skyjack. Like I, I never <laughs> had to do that stuff, you know, and I, and I, I do, do you do that? Yeah. Um. <laughs> Uh, I don't have to think over the years, but um, no, I, I did a show at the Vancouver Art Gallery on the ceiling, and I was in some sort of, I can't remember, it wasn't ladders, but I did the sky is falling, oh. and um, it worked quite high, but it wasn't sky, it wasn't like cherry, they had cherry pickers, I think, but yeah. not, I wouldn't be very good at that. They had people helping me install and stuff, and like, but I'm not very like um, um, uh, handy, you know. Um, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I mean, I built furniture a little bit and stuff, I, but I think he can really yeah, cook. I make some interesting yeah. combinations of things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I mean, sorry, Susan. We, I you. <laughs> no, no, no. He We're makes. On sky track. He makes. Sky uh, track yeah. Oh yeah, but he makes That's really impressive. good. Um, what did I make you? We well, made the fortunes. Oh, if we made for, well, we made fortune cookies the other day. You did the, the fortunes. Opening. Yeah. They got a little oily. They did. Yeah. So you, couldn't, you couldn't read them in the middle read them. completely. But I was just translating them a little bit. But yeah. But um, but they were fun to make. Yeah, they was, were the best one. Yeah. I think was <laughs> um, you're gonna have lots of money, or maybe you're already very well off, or something. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was yeah, something that was very, very wealthy, funny. Or maybe you already are. Or something we had a lot of fun doing that. <laughs> are there any left, or they're all gone? I think they're all gone. Yeah, we're gonna make one more next they show. They tasted yeah. good. Like yeah. they. There were people who were having trouble because there was a sticking part to them that they couldn't. They oh couldn't, they yeah, couldn't I never saw people. Because the cookie was sticking on the. Yeah. On the I think you have to use a different kind of paper, paper, like more yeah, like maybe archival we, yeah, paper. Yeah, a yeah. archival paper, yeah, special yeah, yeah. paper. But Jason yeah. wrote all the portraits. Yeah. He did, yeah. I'm pretty good at it, actually. I gave him, I gave him a really <laughs> strong coffee. I yeah. Made really yeah, you made me one of the best coffees I've ever had. Yeah. 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 But yeah, so like I think that stuff is, it's exhausting. So having someone else see it and give it value. Right. You know, and mm -hmm. even you call, like you sending me an Instagram message and saying, do you want a show here? Well, yeah, that's, you know, that's, that's, way, that's a development. That's a development. For me and for you, yeah. because, you know, I've learned that communicating with people that are on Instagram, which you are, yeah. uh, the direct messaging, right? That's what yeah. we call it. Yeah. Yeah. Big, bang, yeah. Boom. <laughs> Big bang, boom. <laughs> Big bang, boom. You say, hey, you want to show with us? And, and I just, like, I, yeah, that sounds good. Sounds yeah. fine. And yeah. I'd say, so that's, it's actually awesome. It yeah. is. It's good. And, and it, it is really direct, which is cool. Like it's. Yeah. And, yeah. and some people just like that. Like yeah. in my business. We have to understand how the person I'm dealing with wants to communicate. Like it, quite mm -hmm. often, it's on the selling side. So is it phone or text or you know? Especially when I have someone working here, they say, "Well, I can't get a hold of them." I say, "Well, how did you try and get a hold of them?" Mm -hmm. Well, I you know, emailed them. 
I said, well, no, they, they like to text. Yeah. You have to text or phone. Yeah. You know, so the, the now we have this new, well, not that new invention, but the direct messages. Mm. Yeah. And you, you'd be surprised who will, you know, you can get a hold of on, on Instagram by direct messages. Yeah. Yeah, quick. Because I've done people I don't even know. Yes. To see if it works. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it doesn't always work. Doesn't always work. <laughs> you yeah. get the like I'm, I'm some their assistance assistant, you know. <laughs> so I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to phone them, I guess. That's yeah. funny. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But yeah, so that that well, I yeah, I said to myself, well, that Susan's it makes sense. She knows yeah. me well enough. Yeah. yeah. So I'll just direct message her, and about yeah. and, uh, and there you go. Yeah, yeah like so we, I think before that we'd had like two con, like two right. things back and forth. Like a year before or something. Yeah. Like that. So yeah. Well, but I have my ear to the ground. Like I, I, you know, I try and see what's going on. Yeah. yeah. So that's part of my yeah. job. So yeah. I'm a big part of my job. It is pretty interesting how much how important that platform is, huh? Yes, that's right. Like yeah. it's just like well, how much have we talked up. about? Like if we broke down this conversation, Instagram was a big part of the conversation. Yeah. 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 Well, I'm curious about it from an artist's point of view because yeah. I deal with a lot of artists and I look, you know. It's not the answer. It's it's just part of the solution. But it, it is so cool. Like I'm, I just, I was just in Greece, and I had made a contact with someone. Someone had seen my work, and I showed up at their gallery, and I had these postcards that I'd made of Care Point and of our house, and I just, another artist had suggested going in there because she'd been in there, and I dropped them off. They knew my work, and we made a contact. Like it was like this, and I, you know, Mike. Be a, have a night show there, so it's like it was just really interesting. Like we already had a point of contact from Instagram of all things. Yeah, yeah there's yeah. no borders. Apparently. There's no borders. Yeah. yeah. So our, yeah. our kids have no borders. No. Okay. There's on Instagram. There's no borders. It's you know because I, I people follow me from. Yeah, it's very interesting. Yeah. Why? And yeah. they become yeah. your friends. How does that happen? Yeah. Yeah, no, that's right. Yeah, like I someone a guy was at the opening last night, and. He came up to shake my hand, and I said, "Oh, I know who you are." And I said his name, and he said, "And I said we're Instagram friends, you know." And his his mother in law, who is my friend, was like, "What? Well, you know, what's that?" But it was like I told he we totally we had connections. Yeah. You were at his birthday party or something. I was at his birthday party. I know about his birthday party because he posted pictures of it, probably yeah, or something. Yeah, totally, you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know his How's dog? your sore his, foot? <laughs> his dog looks like. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. We're good? Okay. Yeah. Anybody yeah. else want to yeah. ask yeah. any questions while we're here? Otherwise, we can go up and have a look at Yeah, we'll go up and we'll talk about the work and just a little bit or just ask, you can ask the questions. You want to talk about or even you can, you can ask us questions or whatever, you know, whatever people feel like doing. Yeah. yeah. Well, thank you very yeah. much for coming. We really yeah. appreciate it. You are huge.